I'm Greg Tatum. I'm the director of the Jacobs Well Exploration Project. And I'm David Moore. I'm the assistant director of the Jacobs Well Exploration Project. The Jacobs Well Exploration Project is a group of uh, volunteer cave divers that have been exploring and mapping the underwater cave system at Jacobs Well. What we do is, is the equivalent of underwater mountain climbing. Uh, you know, when people climb Everest, they establish a base camp. They move equipment from Camp 1 to Camp 2, Camp 2 to Camp 3. We do exactly the same thing underwater. We are definitely explorers. Uh, the highlight of most cavers and cave divers is to be the first person in a system. I mean, you are the first human being to ever see these features, and there's a, there's a real thrill to that. We have been to, we call it EOL, which stands for end of line. Uh, that's 4,341 feet from the surface. Things that we sort of think about is, you know, we get into the sport with the idea that we want to explore, we want to see where the water's coming from, but what ends up is we start helping out these universities and other agencies with the idea that where is this water coming from? Um, how is it important to society? Um, how is it important to the locals that live in that area? And what's surprising to us is we normally come into it with the idea of exploration, but we come out with the idea of, hey, we're helping uh, everyday people, and what does water mean to everyone else? Resource conservation managers have actually used the map that we've created of Jacob's Well uh, to litigate against uh, development project that have imposed uh, a great deal of pressure on the aquifer. So uh, I think if if things would have developed or the area would have developed like uh, city managers would have wanted it to, um, we would have looked at a nine hole golf course, um, some high density housing um, that would have pulled from the aquifer enough, enough volume that when you calculate the volume that's coming out of Jacob's Well, it would have taken all of that. It would have been total ceased. So if that would have happened, you're also talking about drying up Cypress Creek, drying up the feeder that goes into uh, Blanco River, um, and then you're also talking about drying up Blanco River. Because um, when you start talking about that point, we had several years ago where Blanco actually had a very low flow, and I think this is the year that Jacob's Well stopped flowing. 